It's Sam and I am in beautiful Vancouver. It's a sunny, gorgeous day. I love it. It's so wonderful. <laughs> Today I'm going to show you what I eat as a vegan in Vancouver. Love it. So excited. So much deliciousness. Woo! Even before I took off in the airplane, I was at the airport, hello, and I picked up a Starbucks, of course, and this hot salad from Thai Express. I kind of regretted it because it didn't travel well and it got soggy, so next time I'll get a rice dish. This was my fancy window seat. Nice try, Air Canada. I had a look at the plain menu and I did find some vegan snacks. These energy balls, this granola bar, of course Pringles, just the plain ones. Swedish berries are vegan. Almonds, cashews, this guacamole and hummus, and Twizzlers are also vegan. I arrived in BC and apparently this clock is a big deal. I met up with my friend Coco, who I love and is amazing, and we ended up going to Meat Restaurant. And look, do you see who that is? That's Dom Thompson right there. We ended up chatting later. Meat had an amazing menu. It was an amazing place. It, they have several locations, I found out, and we tried these chicken wing things that were delicious, very barbecue-y, and I got this burger and fries and salad. And this was the first time I got to try the Beyond Burger, and wow, was it so weird. It tasted so much like meat, I don't even think I'd order it again because it was too meaty for me. So the next day was the Vancouver Veg Expo. I am here at the Veg Expo. I just did my talk. My face is very red apparently. And uh, it was a great time. I sold books, signed pictures. No, I signed books and sold and took pictures. And this place is packed. So amazing. Check it out. Apparently there were over 20,000 people in attendance at this expo. It was insanely packed, but it was amazing. I loved it so much. The expo finished at about five o'clock and it was a beautiful sunny day. So I actually met up with some of the other influencers and vendors at the expo and we went to another meet. Yeah, I did two meets in a row, but what are you gonna do? It's where everyone went. I had this Thai peanut noodle salad thing, which was delicious. It was a little bit small, but it was really yummy. I wish I had more though. Moving on to day three. I had to wake up super early to be on global news. So much fun. Um, I love being in these news studios and Appetite by Random House is always super great. They're my publisher and they hire me a food stylist. So I don't even have to do any of the prep work. All I have to do is show up and do a little segment. But you know, it's a little bit scary. It's always live and you kind of just got to go for it and have fun. So here's a little bit of what that looked like. We were chatting during the break and I was saying, you know, sometimes being a vegan, it seems like it is so much work. But you're saying it can be really easy. No, it can totally be fuss free. That's what I'm all about. Making recipes that are easy and using easy to find ingredients so that you can be vegan or mm -hmm. you can even just eat less meat. If you want to see the full interview, I'll post a link down below where you can go and watch it. After the news, Trish, my publicist in Vancouver, took me to Heirloom, a vegetarian restaurant. I had another veggie burger I couldn't resist. It was pretty good. The cheese was pretty amazing, but the burger itself was just okay. After lunch, I went back to the hotel and worked out for a bit, and then I met up with some friends, Ethan and Coco, and we went on a vegan restaurant hop. Oh yes, we did. Our first stop was Arbor. We had these fried oyster mushrooms, these artichoke hearts, and these jackfruit bun things. These jackfruit bun things were so good and definitely my fave at the restaurant. Next up was Chickpea Restaurant. My dog's name is Chickpea, if you don't know, so I already liked this restaurant. Yes, I do love Chickpea. <laughs> we wanted to keep our restaurant hop going, so we shared a platter of this roasted cauliflower, hummus, chickpea fries, a side of vegan sausage, and this fluffy pita bread. It was super delicious. Ethan was super cute and told the host that it was my birthday the very next day, so they gave us this little carrot cake, which we also shared. Next up was Cardam's. It is a donut place and it is not all vegan, but they do have vegan donuts. We had this caramel corn vegan donut and this smoked walnut, which was also gluten free. I love the caramel corn one best. Lastly, yes, we kept eating. It was Virtuous Pie, which is a vegan pizzeria. Yes, I was really happy I went to the gym, at least today, because my God, was I full. 
so full. But I had to eat vegan pizza. I mean, who can resist, really, right? We ended up ordering this pizza with broccoli on it, and I was like, really, guys? Broccoli on pizza? But then I was like, really? Broccoli on pizza? It was so good. My last full day in beautiful Vancouver. I had to wake up bright and early again, this time to be on CTV Morning Live. It's always amazing these studios. People are jumping from one corner to the next corner and filming and it's all live. It's always really crazy and hectic. On air the whole time. Once again, the amazing food stylist came and prepared me to pretend cook on air. <laughs> yes, I was pretend cooking because I wasn't actually allowed to turn on any heat. I was definitely not the only special guest today. Kathy Griffin was right up before me. And then the cameras were getting ready to promote my third printing of my cookbook. So exciting. Well, the book is out now. How many recipes in total did you have to do? There's 101 recipes in the book, oh all easy, all using easy to find ingredients you can find at your local grocery store. Mm -hmm. We've got a fabulous cheesecake here too. I don't know. Now if I you heard have time. about this. This, is, this. this this also blew my mind too. Plant-based cheesecake. Yes. Okay. No cheese in the making of this cheesecake. And no calories either, right? <laughs> no, I don't know about that. Well, I had a little bite of that. I might as well go for dessert. I right? think you need to have dessert okay. as well. This cake is super easy to make. You just toss everything oh in the blender. This Pretty is good, awesome. Right? This is amazing. Sam, thank you Love so it. much. Thank you Listen, so much. Best of luck with the book. Now, once again, if you want to see this full clip of me on CTV, I'll put a link below. After filming, I had a bit of time for myself, so I decided to go on a 10 kilometer run around the waterfront. It was beautiful. Check it out. Vancouver, beautiful, period. You having a good day, buddy? Just chilling? Just chilling? I saw this tree up on this building and I couldn't help but wonder, do you think this guy's super lonely or do you think he feels like the king of the world? I couldn't decide. You know what's a funny thing to do? Film yourself while running. That feels goofy times a thousand. <laughs> so after this, I was a bit hungry. I found a Chipotle and got my first ever Sofrita Chipotle bowl. It was just okay, I'm not gonna lie. I was pretty underwhelmed. I've heard a lot of good things about Chipotle. Meh. My last event of the trip was at the juice truck where they hosted a pop-up dinner for me. This is an amazing company. They make these amazing juices and salads. I was sipping on this skin deep juice which tasted like candy, yeah. Um, and this is where they hosted the pop-up dinner. It was beautiful. They made all of these appetizers from my book. I've got the pretzel bites there, these spinach and artichoke dip. Next were my omami, umami lettuce wraps, and they also had a do-it-yourself burrito station. I was having so much fun chatting with people that I forgot to film dessert, so I stole this footage from the juice truck's Instagram. This is my creme brulee and my cheesecake. Yeah, they had both for dessert, so yummy. And then going home, the juice truck was super nice and made me this huge goodie bag full of treats to take on the plane, so I actually had a good meal. I had this breakfast cookie and this salad, I don't know why it was so good, it was so good. There were so many treats in this bag, seriously, thank you so much. I had a feast on the plane. Hello Toronto, I am back here, I am back home. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this video and if you do be sure to give it a big like it really helps me out on this channel and don't forget to subscribe for another fuss free vegan video every single Wednesday. I'll see you next week. Bon appetit again! <laughs>